Lord, where are you at? Why won't you talk to me? I can't hear you. I don't know what you're trying to communicate with me. I pray, I ask, and you're not saying anything. Where are you? You say in your word, Jeremiah 29, 11, you say, for I know the plans I have for you. You, This is the Lord's declaration. Plans for your well-being, not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. If you have these plans for me, then why are you hiding them from me and not telling me? Have you ever thought that? Because I'm sure you have. Because I know I have. And in some time in your Christian walk, you're going to experience this issue where you can't hear the Lord. And I hope that never happens for you, but it's real and it does happen to a lot of people. Doesn't it? Yes. It does. So we're going to tell you today in this new Holy Coley Talk, episode two, we're going to show you how you can hear God's voice. And what's the theme of our talk? The theme of our talk Maddie is going to share with you. <laughs> you don't hear, you're not hearing the Lord because you're not tapping in. Exactly. Tapping in. It's, you're not hearing the Lord's voice because you're not tapping in. That's our thing. Your chest. All right. And we're going to express this and show you different verses that back this up mm -hmm. and also give Some you examples. real life examples that have been uh, just happening recently with us that we can relate to y'all in hopes that you can carry out what we're trying to convey so it doesn't happen to you. So a main example for us this week has been through our Bible study being canceled, mm -hmm. which meant we had a week longer to complete our homework, and because we had already completed the homework, we decided to not repeat the Bible study or move on to the next weeks. And that ultimately meant less time with the Lord that we, um, that we just didn't have. No, that we didn't prioritize. That was the right thing. Yeah, prioritize. We didn't prioritize the time with the Lord. And we saw issues in our communication mm -hmm. as a couple. And just ultimately more snappy, less holy. And that was one, Not good stuff. one example as a couple of one we didn't prioritize the Lord this week. And then... Paige is going to share and also, example. with that, we were using our Bible study kind of as a couple's devotion time we, we spend together diving in and asking from the Lord, what do you want us to learn, and diving more and learning more about it. Mm -hmm. So, we took that out, and also, we individually have been slacking in our personal devotion time. You should have some devotion time together as a married married couple, but you should also still be seeking him for yourself mm -hmm. and have individual devotion uh, and time where you're seeking out the Lord's guidance. And I know I have slacked. This has only been the past week. It hasn't yeah. been like... We're not getting a lifelong story, but... A long time. This past week has been... It could be a lot better, and it wasn't prioritized properly, mm -hmm. and this should be up here on the list of priorities, and it, we did not do such a good job of that last week, and so we reap the benefits of it, but at the same time we were doing all this, we were still asking God's uh, direction mm -hmm. um, and guidance through different problems that we were having. Yeah, and like praying and praying for God to give us an answer, but weren't prioritizing time with him or spending time with him to deepen our relationship with him and hear what he had to say to us. Yes, exactly. And God is not going God can intervene at any time, in any place, in 
any moment. But he he does things so we can learn. Mm -hmm. And he also does things as a father figure. So we must know that, you know, if you ain't hearing from him, there's a reason for that. God's trying to teach you something. And most of the time, it's because it's our own doing that we're not hearing from him. Because God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He's staying still. Mm -hmm. he, don't, he don't shift around and move. It's us that shifts around and moves. And he is with constant. With that, that moves us into our common struggle mm -hmm. that we believe people, Christians and non-Christians have, mm -hmm. is, well, I guess Christians. Because um, a lot of times when people don't hear God's voice, we stop seeking Him. Mm -hmm. And the answer and in reality, we should tap in more and dive deeper and dedicate time to the Lord and spending time with Him in order to hear Him mm -hmm. and not just stop just because you feel like you're not hearing Him or getting the answer you need. He doesn't want you to just cut Him off just because you don't feel like your answer, your problems are being answered. He wants you to communicate with him and build a relationship with him. Welcome. Yes. Welcome. And then Gage is going to talk to you kind of about a topic that he came up with of why it's hard to blame ourselves. I think it's hard to blame ourselves. Just because of the root of our sinful nature, ever mm -hmm. since we've fallen in the beginning as a human race, we want things for ourselves, and we want it our way, and when something doesn't go our way, we point the finger mm -hmm. to blame others, so we don't have to fix it ourselves, we want other people to fix the issues. Or we want to point the blame to someone else. So someone else has to take the consequences of your bad actions. Yeah. So it's a lot easier to point the finger and to blame others. And that's what we do with God. We point the finger at God and we say, I blame you. We blame God mm -hmm. for not hearing him. We say... God, why are you not talking to me? God, why can't I hear from you? God, I'm not... We're not communicating. I'm not hearing what you're trying to say to me. I don't know where you're trying to guide me. Mm -hmm. God, why are you doing this to me? It's all about me. That's the point in the finger. You point your finger, God, why you do this to me? It's very selfish, but happens all the time. When you get off track. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we kind of touched on this briefly, but just to reiterate it and explain the importance of it, we're not hearing God because we're not really listening and mm -hmm. we're not taking the time and making space for Him in our daily life. And Gage mentioned it earlier, I believe. That God is always teaching, and He's not going to always give you your answer right away because He's trying to teach you something and create a lesson out of something. It's not always the case, but a lot of times. Mm -hmm. And um, I think you just need to be reassured that the Time you take to devote to the Lord is not going unseen mm -hmm. by the Lord, and you continue to get dedicate that time, and God will fulfill His promises. I'm sure it did. He will fulfill His promises, mm -hmm. and that's the kind of the tapping in that we're talking about. Yeah. So, do you want to? Which is gonna go into our next 
verse. Proverbs three, five, and six. All right. Proverbs chapter 3 is a great one. Mm -hmm. And it's all about what we're talking about today, about tapping in. We got our dogs with us this time in our holy coy talk. Yep, they're helping us spread the good news. They want to be part of the family. Well, Gabe gets to the page. Yep, yeah, struggling because the Bible has thin pages sometimes. Three, five through six? Yes is trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding or do not lean on your own understanding. Mm -hmm. In all your ways, know him and he will make your paths straight. In all your ways, know him is what I kind of highlight from this verse. And that's the tapping in that we're talking about. I kind of picture God like a God of love. Simply put, from his word. I'm not sure what verse that is off the top of my head right now, but God is love. Mm -hmm. I picture him like a there's this source, this infinite energy source of love, which is God. And it doesn't move, it doesn't change. And we're over here kind of wandering in different directions and paths. And the best direction we could go is towards this. Mm -hmm. And there's different ways to to get closer to this and to feed off of different, I guess, rivers that are flowing from this. There's God's word, his scripture, um, and evidence from God who sent his son down to this earth and made a huge impact on everybody and lived a perfect, sinful, sinless life and Tons of people wrote about them, and it has made a huge impact in our entire world. Mm -hmm. That is one way to tap in just by reading scripture, but also through God can speak to you through other ways. My favorite way mm -hmm. is to journal and spend quiet time with the Lord. Mm -hmm. So that's another way you can tap in and just try and. Clear your mind. Writing. And write. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's the easiest way to speak what's really on your mind and get everything out. I think that's great. And that's what we, kind of what we talked about in the first video. Mm -hmm. A little bit the importance of writing because it comes straight from your heart. Yeah. And that's really, you know, what God wants. Wants with love. Mm -hmm. That's like a heart soul connection that is happening there that we need to tap into Another as much as we can it's through prayer which we've mentioned but <clears throat> i think more intentional prayer and consistent prayer is mm -hmm. something we've talked about a lot in our own lives and just trying to solve little things in our own lives just closing our eyes and you don't even have to close your eyes but just get quiet and pray and consistently pray for the same topic if it's something that's really on your heart. Mm -hmm. I think that's something I've learned in this season. Yes, I think that's great. And get quiet. Take the distractions out. And another way you can tap in mm -hmm. with similar prayer is fasting. And that's yeah. removing something. Re removing something mm -hmm. and replacing it with devotion for the Lord. Yeah. And there's power in that video sacrifice. Games? Gabe doesn't really play video games play video anymore. Games. Dylan, if you're about. listening, this is for you. Our friend Dylan plays some video games. <laughs> Apparently you need to fast from video games. And watch the Forge. The yep, watch the Forge. Mm -hmm. But you can cut out things like video games or social media. Food. Food, coffee. I have a coffee addiction. I could probably cut that off. Yep. And then don't tell anybody you're fasting either. Keep it private. Yep. And work and sacrifice internally Internally for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Don't make show out of it. This is for your souls. 
connection with the Lord. You're tapping in. This is the tapping in we're talking about. So you can know him more and hear him more. Because if you don't, you won't hear from him. Mm -hmm. He's not hiding from you. I've said that before. God's not hiding. You're not searching hard enough. And I think, going back to staying consistent, something you mentioned earlier was how, like, drinking water, our spiritual life requires mm -hmm. continuous attention and um, action. Mm -hmm. And so, just like hydrating the body. Mm -hmm. Instead. That was all from you. So, you don't have to act like I'm, so I'm saying something the good. <laughs> yeah. Yes, just like in the book of John, where we read where Jesus goes to the woman at the well, mm -hmm. and he explains himself as living water. I can offer you living water. This is the living water that he's talking about. Yes. That's the tapping in. We're tapping in. We're digging down into the well, getting the water out, drinking the water, and we have to continuously drink the water, otherwise we're going to dehydrate. Mm -hmm. And the Lord... It's not that he doesn't want to communicate to you when you're not drinking the water. It's that if you want to learn, our path is all about learning more of God's will and understanding more of God. And the more we do that, mm -hmm. we'll understand I kind of think of it more too. of his plan. Mm -hmm. Sorry for cutting you off. It's okay. I kind of think of it too as like what water does for like a plant and how a plant or a tree grow and if you want to grow you have to continuously water if you want to grow your plants you got to continuously water them and nourish them and it's just like your own body you have to water pour water into it and nourish it in the Lord's scripture perfect perfect example of the growth that we need to have with our relationship mm -hmm. with the Lord and so this is kind of our last point before we head into the conclusion is everything's going to be okay when you give it to the Lord and we just touched on God is living water and then another point was God's provision mm -hmm. and when you feel like you don't have the resources or abilities to be enough or produce enough, you should call on the one who is infinite, mm -hmm. the Lord. And then the last point comes starts. Let's go into Matthew six twenty five. Okay. All right, Pastor. Matthew six twenty five. Yes. Matthew six is great. If you want a great chapter, read Matthew 6. Matthew 6 to 25 says, and above it, in the little paragraph uh, theme description, it says, the cure for anxiety. Mm, that's a big one in today's so, world. So, listen to this. I'll give you the cure for anxiety. Because someone else already has. Therefore, I tell you, don't worry about your life. What you will eat, or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Isn't life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Consider the birds of the sky. They don't sow or reap or gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Aren't you worth more than they? Can you add one moment to your life by worrying? That's good. It's very good stuff that Jesus says that is so remarkable about anxiety and that God always provides and that you don't have to worry. I think too a little bit deeper of a meaning. Mm -hmm. Maybe not seeing as much on the surface when reading that, but you need to remember that it's not a one-time thing that God is looking for. He's looking for us to be 
dedicated and dedicated in our practice mm -hmm. and our devoted. devotion. Yes, mm -hmm. devoted to the Lord. And it's a process and it should never be as thought of as being finished mm -hmm. but a continuous process. That's good. Mm -hmm. I had another thought about this verse. Okay. About when it says, Is it life more than food and the body more than clothing? Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people think that I'm having these problems go on. My family's, my marriage is in shambles. My family is arguing. There's drama in the family. I just lost someone close to me. Uh, and there's plenty of other actual real problems that go on in people's lives that they have. And they're very real. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying disregard, don't think about your problems. You still have to process them and go through them. Right. But instead of being very anxious and worrying and stressing about those situations that you cannot really control, but they're very sad and they're weighing down on you, mm -hmm. you have to realize that this is the life I live in my body. This is not the life that I'm going to live forever. There's more to the picture than going on right now. Even though I feel it, everything feels very real right now. You have to think in your head and know that there is more. And when you think there is more... And you unveil more about God's character and who he is. You'll know why Jesus says don't worry. Because we have something that is hopeful. Mm -hmm. We have eternal life beyond the grave. And that's why we shouldn't worry about you know, what's going on yesterday. Or even what's going on today. We don't need to worry. We just need to keep trucking along, keep working at getting closer and tapping in Jesus. to Jesus and to God and to love. And I love that. Love that verse. That was really good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank I didn't you. think about it that way ever. So thank you for teaching me something new. No. Um. Now, moving to our closing of our talk, mm -hmm. um, I think we kind of just wanted to remind you all that you need to have this continuous drive and devotion to the Lord and to continue to hydrate yourselves in the Lord's Word and mm -hmm. your relationship with the Lord. And when you feel like you're very far from him or you can't hear him you just need to tap in more mm -hmm. and use those ways that we listed above or before this <laughs> this is kicking me <laughs> um, like prayer journaling and devotion meditation um, fasting those were just a few reading the scripture and then um, yeah do you have any closing thoughts yeah, I think all this stuff that we covered today is a very long, solid message mm -hmm. that's dressed up fancy so we can convey that to you so you can understand it, mm -hmm. but it's actually very simple. Yeah. But if we just told you it, just in a simple sentence, you wouldn't listen. We have to convey this in the way we did. So that it made an impact on you. And the simple message is to tap in. Mm -hmm. And when you don't hear him, tap in more. Tap in more and keep tapping in. Mm -hmm. 
She can never tap in enough and to take ownership of your shortcomings, mm -hmm. confess your sins. You're not perfect. We fall short. It's going to happen. But do your best to keep tapping in and don't point the finger at others. Simple as that. Don't point the finger. Blame yourself. It's my fault. But at the same time, just like the don't be anxious part we just covered, don't beat yourself up. Mm -hmm. It's okay if you get off track. It's not okay to get off track, but it's okay if you get back on the track yeah. after you've gotten off track. And I just want to reiterate that it's a very common, common, not issue, but challenge that Christians and non-believers have is to... Just give up when you don't get an answer from the Lord. Mm -hmm. That you're getting the answer and you're not listening. Yeah. Like, so. God's not talking to me. So I guess I'm just... I'll stop asking him for that because I don't know mm -hmm. if he wants to answer that right now. Or if I just don't know if that's right in my life right now. Yeah. You still you need to should... Be diligent. Until you have a clear answer. Yeah. Keep asking... But make sure you did what we just told you. Keep tapping in. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to close y'all with a verse that Matt I is going to read. read it. It is Matthew 6, 34. Yep. It says, Therefore, don't worry about tomorrow, because tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Mm. And for me, I think that is a big one. Paige knows and others know that I do struggle with being anxious a lot and worrying. And I think that's kind of a normal, more normal thing for women mm -hmm. to worry and be anxious. So that's a good verse for me to come back to, to remind myself that I don't have to worry about tomorrow because it's already, it's already in action, already in, in the plan. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. That's great, and love that verse. Don't worry about tomorrow. There's also another verse that says, forgetting what is behind. So, don't think about, don't worry about the past either. Right. Don't worry about the future. I heard recently, if you have one foot in yesterday and one foot in tomorrow, you'll pee all over your day. <laughs> and you will. Because I haven't heard this one yet. <laughs> You need to be present in the moment because that's where God has you right now and that's where you should be acting. You should, you can't waste all of this energy. God has put you in this place right now in this right very instant to be present in the moment he's given you. So do that. Great. Tap in. Great Get closer saying. To the Lord. Thank from, you. From Gage William Coley. <laughs> well, I didn't come up with that, but I heard that recently. And thank you for watching the Holy Coley Talk. What should they do, Gage, if they liked the video? If y'all like this video, the first thing you should do is take into account what we just said and imp not import it. Implement. Put, implement it into your lives. Yes. So that it can make a change. Not that we want to change your lives, but we want to, we want God to change your lives. And, and we want to you be to hear a part us. Of we want to be a vessel your journey. for that. Yes. So implement it we also would love for you to share this with someone that you might think it might be beneficial for mm -hmm. um leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it if you have any comments or questions drop them down below and also if you Subscribe. want to give us some ideas on uh, maybe some issues that you have mm -hmm. drop those in the comments below but also subscribe to the channel also subscribe to the channel hit that button also hit the notification symbol while you're at it this has been Holy Coley. Thank you guys for watching so much, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.